زين من كل مكان الصويرة زينة البلدان زورون رجا فرحان كفا بينو للهيلولا حدس في حضو محيلة نضربو شوفارة الليلة دي سباراشا في ديس ويك سباراشا بريشيت دي سباراشا We are not allowed to talk too much about this parasha. Because it's a parasha of Kabbalah. Because it's a parasha that it talks to you about when I should be created the world. First question is what was Hashim doing was doing all this time? Why now? Especially for the Jewish people that we say that the world exists only a few thousand years. You can't believe it. It's impossible. What Hashem was doing? Permit. So many questions. And how Hashem did that? How? Bow, bam, bam. And even Moshe Rabbeinu, when he was writing the Torah, he has a big problem because it's even Moshe. He said to Hashem, Hashem, You tell me to write Bereshit bara Elohim. In the beginning, God created. So Moshe said, Hashem, why we don't write Hashem bara Bereshit? Hashem created in the beginning. But if you write in the beginning, Hashem created, that means there is somebody, a God, that his name is Bereshit, he created Hashem. Bereshit bara Elohim. And Hashem said, no, do what I tell you. Write this. Then Hashem said, let's do, let's create a man like us. So Moshe Abri said, let's create a, a man like us. That means people, they may get mixed up. They will say, that Hashem is a man. Because Hashem said to Moshe, right? Na'ase Adam, let's do, let's create a man like us, that he look like us. Hashem, you don't look like a man. You're not a man. And Hashem said, right what I tell you. So here, there is something that we have to understand. On one hand, we're not allowed to ask questions. On the other hand, Hashem, He pushed us to ask questions. I mean, let's face. Hashem, you, you don't want me to ask questions? Why you push me to ask? Why you push me to ask? Hashem, if I'm not religious, if Hasri Shalom, I have a problem, my Amuna, it's because of you. It's your fault because you push me to ask questions. On one hand, you say, don't ask, and you push me to ask. The answer is, Hashem, you want us to be the way Hashem you want. You know what Hashem answered to Moshe? Hashem is to Moshe. If somebody were to get mixed up, if somebody want to be uh, not to understand it is business that means Hashem when he created Adam listen to this Naase Adam Hashem he said we'll do a man Naase we will create a man what does that mean we will create a man that means that Hashem really His meaning was that he will create a man with a chokhmah, with a kind of intelligence that he can understand the image. You cannot ask a, a baby to drive a car. You cannot, you cannot ask a baby to fly a plane. But This baby, you can say, this baby will grow and he can fly. He will grow, he can drive a car. 
Hashem, He gives us a chokhmah that we can understand. I mean, you know, those who created Concord, you know what it is, the, this plan of Concord is so intelligent, the plane that you cannot imagine. Today, the technology is so intelligent. Somebody came to see me yesterday. I'm not allowed to tell you, you know him very well. Very, I tell you after the name, but not now. This man, uh, he has a problem here in his neck. And they want to put in his neck, there is only one doctor in the world that he can put something very, very small, something very intelligent, something electronic, like this, in a vein. When I saw that small machine, he showed it to me in a big... Uh, a big I said, all this here? How? Oh. No, he said, it's only like this. Very micro... Uh, micro, micro. Uh, micro nanotechnology. Micro electronic, very, very, very small. How did he do that? How did he invent that? That means... The Hashem he give to the man an intelligence with no limit. So you have to use it. You can use it to invent this micro electronic and you cannot understand that there is Hashem. You have a Hochma Bina Vadaat to create a bomb atomic. Mm to create concord, to create, you know, rocket that they can go to the moon, to Mars, mm. maybe tomorrow to the sun, and you don't understand that there is Hashem, you have no Hochma. The Gemara said, there was a man, he was fishing fish, and Elia Navi came, he told him, hey, 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 man, what do you do? I'm fishing, you know, fish. fish. Ah, and you have time to study Torah. He said, Torah? <laughs> I don't understand Torah. It's very difficult to understand Torah. Ah, it's very difficult. To fish, fish, to fish. To, you know, uh, uh, to hunt, you know, to, that's what, uh, what is it? Uh, to catch fish. To catch fish. You are intelligent. And to study Torah? Hashim did not give you the intelligence to study Torah? Hashim give you only intelligence to catch fish? That's it. If you are intelligent to make money, if you are intelligent to have ideas how to make money, real estate, You can use your brain to understand Torah. My rabbi, Abraham Shmuel Opian, Arab Shalom, who is a big tzaddik, I do not have the picture there. Hey, there is no picture here. One day, when, uh, when he passed away, there was a man that he made a speech about him. And he said, you shoot Moray Varabodai. I remember when I was in the yeshiva. One day I went to Abraham Shmuelopian and I told him I have to leave the yeshiva. And the Rav asked me why you want to leave the yeshiva. I told him because I don't understand the Gemara. I don't, I, I waste time. And Abraham Shmuelopian told me, tell me, you pray? So I told him, yes, I pray. And how you pray? With the book, on the book, or by uh, Alpi, you know, uh, by heart. Like that. He said, no, on the book. And sometimes by Alpi, uh, you know, 
جوس الدهارت اي سيد هو تابوت شمونا اسري دعميدا دينويد سيد جيس اينويد دينويد بايات اي سيد جيس هو تابوت في كتامازون اي سيد اتولي مياس اينويد هاو دو دي اي سو دعميدا you can say it by Alpi. That means you can catch. In the Gemara, you cannot catch. If you can't do the Amida without the book, and the Bishkat Amazon without the book, that means you can understand the Gemara. And that man, he said, when I heard that from Rav Chaim Shmuel, I started to use my brain. And now I am what I am. Hashem that's why Hashem was very... Hashem created a man with such a big chokhmah that he can be... He can know everything. So Hashem said to Moshe, if you write Bereshit bara Elokim in the beginning, Hashem created the world. A man, if he, he will use his intelligence, you will understand that it's me who created in the beginning the world. And the man will not say there was a very shit who created God. Because Hashem, he, he created the man with big intelligence. And if I say this to a man, that man will understand that Hashem is anav. Hashem is very humble. And he used a language of an humble man. Let's create a man that will be like us. Because Hashem wants to teach you to be humble. If Hashem is humble, so you can be humble. So if a man will not understand it like that, so he's crazy. So he's looking for something else. This is the way Hashem created the man. I would like to tell you a beautiful story. There is somebody in Marseille that he has a he had uh, some business to do. He couldn't go to the to the to Morocco to the Ilula Fabia in Pinto. He couldn't go. So there was a man in the shul that is not rich, has no money. He knows him. And he told him, you know, I cannot go to Morocco. I pay, you the, I pay you the ticket, you go instead of me. He went. Thank you, he went. The day of the Hilula of Rabbi Himpid, that man was doing a party in his home. He has a swing. Suddenly, the baby is not there. They said to look for him. They found him on the swimming pool. Floated on the water. Julie, huh? Floated. Usually a baby who fell in the, in the, in the swimming pool, he don't. Once he died, he come up. And this boy, he was on the water. And you know the children, they move. They're excited. And that boy, was just flat on the water. Alive. Nothing happened to him. On the day of the Hilula of Rabbi Shepid. So he understood. He said, because I did a tzedakah, I sent somebody instead of me to Rabbi Shepid so the tzaddik saved my life. That's a emunah of a Jew. Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he gave to a man something in his brain. You may use it for the good, or you will not use it at all. Because, look, you look at me. 
I believe in Hashem. There is somebody next to me who would say, this man is crazy. Where is Hashem? How? There is two people. I believe in Hashem and this man, he don't believe in Hashem. Why? The answer is simple. I use my brain to understand there is Hashem. This man is lazy. He's lazy. He won't use his brain. He don't want. It's, it's so simple. That's what Hashem said to Moshe Rabbeinu. If a man wants to get mixed up and to uh, and uh, to be wrong, it's his fault. It's his fault. My father, Allah wa Shalom, he sent my mother to Casablanca to print a book that my father wrote about Rabbi Chaim Pinto. My father was a poor man, no money, nothing. And he said to my mother, go to the printer, David Amar, tell him how much it cost, then look in the shops who said lottery, try to find the last three numbers like this. 26, 26. My mother, she could tell my father, Moshe, are you crazy? Where am I going to look for this kind of lottery? Where am I going to find 26, 26? She did not ask. Every time I ask my mother, Maman, tell me please, you did not say nothing to Papa? You just went like that? She said yes. How? You know what was her answer? If your father told me to look for the number of the, lot the lottery that end 26, 26, I had no doubt. I know that I will find it. Maman, please repeat me. What happened exactly? It was on Sunday. And it will be you have to go to Kazamroka tomorrow. The lottery play on Tuesday. You meet David Amar on Monday. You buy the lottery on Tuesday. On Tuesday it play. You will win the money that you will pay David Amar. Every time, maybe millions of times, I ask my mother, Pap, Maman, tell me the story. Maman, tell me the story. And always the same story. So she went to Casablanca. She went to David Amar with the book of my father. I am the wife of Rabbi Moshe Pinto. Ah, Rabbi Moshe. He is in Sawira, yes. I heard he never go out. No. What do you want? You want to print this book. Bam, 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 bam. Mm. This book is going to cost a lot of money. She wanted 1,000 piece, pieces. It's going to cost you X, let's say, let's say $1,000. It was a big, a lot of money at that time. So she said, okay. $1,000, but you have to give me, you know, huh? and something in advance to buy papers. She said, tomorrow I bring you. Tomorrow, why not today? Because today I'm going to go to look for, to buy a lottery, and uh, I will win tomorrow, and I will pay you. <laughs> you will win tomorrow. So, you know, it's like, uh, he said, who told you that you will win? My husband. My husband told me that I will win. I always thought your husband is was crazy because he don't go out. But crazy like that, 
I never heard. It's a real crazy day. But, look, I wait till tomorrow. This is the price. If you win in the break of the money, I give you a reduction. And that, that reduction, don't give it to your husband. It's for you. Because you are crazy like your husband. She, and my mother, she told me that she looked at him and she was shocked. How can you, she told him, how can you talk like that? You don't believe? That means for her, it was easy. You don't believe? And he told her, I believe, but not that. My mother, she told him, okay. She went. She looked at some kiosks, some shops, and she found one that at the lottery 2626. She was very happy. Ah, this is the one, the Arab who sold the lottery. He said, what do you mean this is the one? Well, this is the one that he will win. Ah, what? So if you will, you have to come to see me. And I have to give you the, the ticket from where you bought it to have the money. And if you want, tomorrow I give you X money, for, extra for you. Extra. It won. It, she won. My father won the money. Exactly for the book. No more, no less. David Amar was shocked. He said, where well, I promise you a reduction, is a reduction. That means, Hashem, he gives you a neshama. The neshama, Hashem to have said, that the neshama connects you with Hashem. So, it, so that neshama, her title is, to connect you with Akash Baruch Hu. So you must believe in Hashem. Because the Neshama is Hashem. The Neshama, she's Miguel, she's Devoil, she's, uh, uh, Revela. The, the, the Neshama, she would be a revelation that Hashem is Emet. Sure. The Neshama is a light of Hashem. So Hashem is on you. So you have a choice. Or you believe what is on you, on you or you don't believe what is on you. That is from Hashem. That means Hashem is on you. And Hashem is, is screaming inside you. Hey, I am Hashem. Anuchi Hashem, Elokecha. I'm Hashem, your God. Or shut you, or, or you hear that voice, or just you shut your ears and you don't want to listen to the voice. It's up to you. It's up to you. So when Hashem is said to Moshe Rabbeinu, Moshe, write in the book of the Torah, let's do a man to be like us look like us. Hashem, you not, you look like nobody. You are no, nobody. You are, nobody can see you. Hashem, please, I can't write this in the Torah. Because the people, they may think that it's a man who created another man. You are not a man. And Hashem said, you write what I told you. And if that man is so foolish to think that I am a man, let him think. Hashem, how can, how can you push a man to ask questions? The answer for Hashem is, it's impossible to ask questions. Because what he has inside him, it's a part of me. So that part of me, it will devolve him that I'm not a man. And if still 
he will to think I am a man. So he's crazy. He's looking for something else. So this is something, and I would like to finish. This is a way how Hashem created the man. He created the man to have always a question, and he should give the answer. Otherwise, everything will be easy for you to make money. You have to work. So you to have Imun and Hashem, you have a little, a little bit of work to do to discover the reality. Like Avraham Avinu. At the beginning, he thought there is no God. He thought it's the sun. God. Then he saw the moon. Ah! There was a fight between the sun and the moon, and the moon won. Ah! And the next day, the sun. Ah! So the sun came back again, and she beat the moon. And the night the moon. Ah, no. Rubbish. No. It can't be like that. A fight. The moon, the sun. No. There must be somebody who created the sun and the moon. So Hashem, I don't know you. I know that you are somewhere. You created the world. And the world is not just... Uh, the world was not created like that. And then he started to serve Hashem. And then Hashem ap- appeared to him. Abraham, Abraham, you're right. I'm Hashem. I'm the one who created the moon. I'm the one who created the sun. So that means everyone, he has this, he can reach this level of Abraham Abino. Everyone. Not only Abraham Abino. Everyone can, can have this this uh, kawa, this strength to be like Abraham. Even Abraham at the beginning was, he was Abed Abed Azara. He was doing idolatry. He was saving the moon after he was saving the sun, after he was saving the star. And the other day I said, now, rubbish. Now, it's not possible. They cannot be a gods fighting between them. There's only one. Hashem, I don't know you. But I know there is one, only one. Wherever you are, I serve you. So it was clever. You think, you, you think, you find. And I would actually finish. Rav Shach is a big tzaddik. He said, on, but, but listen to this, huh? It's fabulous. It's fantastic. He said, on Elul, what it is Elul? Elul is the names, the name, Ani Lidudi, Vidudi Li. Yes? Rashi Tevot, the first letters of Ani, I am for Hashem, and Hashem is for me. So Rav Shachi said, I don't understand. Why the rabbi said, Elul, is the meaning of Ani, I am for Hashem, and Hashem is for me. Maybe it's Ani, Elul. Look, 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 it's, it's very, he said, he said, look, he said like that. What is this Elul? Look up. Elul, Elul. Elul, Aleph, Ani, Le Dodi, Ve Dodi, Li. I am for Hashem, and Hashem for me. He said, maybe Ani, Elu, it's Ani La Yam, Ve Ayam Li. I am for the sea. I am for the, yeah, for the sea. For the sea. Because on Elul, people still in the sea. They are on the beach. Mm-hmm. You know, John Joy. Maybe Ilul, it's uh, I am for the sea, and the sea is for me. Ani layam, the I am li. So, so why the Haram said, and do you know what he said? He said something incredible. He said, 
if the rabbis they said I am for Hashem, Ilul it's I am for Hashem, and Hashem is for me. That means that I am for Hashem and Hashem is for me, not I am for the sea and the sea is for me. <coughs> and if you want to, to, to think like that, so it's your choice. You have a choice. Or Elul, I am for Hashem and Hashem is for me, or I am for the sea and the sea is for me. So you have the choice. If you are Sugar, Michigan. <laughs> so you will think, you will say, I am for the sea, the sea for me. But if you are intelligent, you understand that the sea is not forever. But Hashem is forever. You know that. Do you understand? This is the parash of this week. The parash of this week, you need a lot of emuna to understand the parash. Bemeta. Sometimes I can't sleep when I think about this parasha. I prefer to pass quick this parasha. So many questions in this parasha. We have so many questions that there is no answers. There is no answers. That's why this parasha you have to be very careful with this parasha. Because no one can give you answers. That's one thing. Emuna. Now I say, Adam, let's create a man like us. Like us? Well, that means you are a man? Well, if you want to think that I am a man, let them think. They are crazy. But Hashem, you push them to think this. Ha! Huh? What about the Nishama they have? So that means that Hashem, He puts you in a doubt, but He has an answer. I give you a weapon, my light, my a Nishama, a, a, a piece, a part of me on you. That part of me on you. She could reveal to you that I'm not a man. And if still you think I am a man, you say you're crazy. It's a job. It's a work that Hashem gives us. That we have to do. I promise you, sometimes, I don't know. Yet, sometimes I am in, in situations that uh, only Hashem can help. And then I talk to Hashem. All of us can talk to Hashem. You can talk to Hashem, He's your father. And I talk to him like I talk to my friend. That's what my father teach me. My father teach me the same way when you need something you ask me. If I'm not here, ask Hashem. Talk to him. A lot of times I used to see my father talking alone. And he was talking. I like having a discussion. But, yes, but, but, yes, but, 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 okay, I'll do that. But what about if he, and what I'm going to say to my mother, what I'm going to say to my wife, who's talking like that? When I go and I ask my father, Papa, I heard you. He says, Yes. But you talk to him, did you get an answer? He said, Yes. How? Hashem will give you the answer. And this is true. Hashem is a witness. We are here Thursday night. When I talk to Hashem, 
I get answers. We have a discussion. What I will do tomorrow, what I will tell him, what I'm, what's going to happen next week, what about this? And I get answers. Who answer me? Hashem. He will not talk to me, but we feel. When you love Hashem, this is the way. But all this is if you go through the parasha of this week. If you have emuna on Hashem, finish. And I would like to finish with this. I learned last week on uh, the sutta, a man that I helped him to do teshuva. It was the night of uh, Yaakov Avinu. And he said this. He said, Rabbi David, tonight is the, is the night of, ya- of Yaakov. He said, yes. He said, Rabbi David, I want to ask you one question. I said, yes. He said, yesterday, the first night was Avraham. Yeah. The second night was Yitzhak. I said, yes. And tonight, I said, Yaakov. She said, where is Esav? Where is Esav? I said, Esav? We talk about Esav. Yeah, but Abraham, Isaac, Yaakov, and Esav. Where is Esav? So I told him, what about Ishmael? What did you ask the question about Ishmael? He said, why Ishmael? Because he was the son of Hagar. And Hagar, we have no connection. But it's Hak, is the son of Sarah. Now, tonight, is Yaakov. And Yaakov is the, is the, the son of who? Of Rivka. 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 And it's Hak. But she, Rivka, she had two children. Yaakov and Esav. Who is Esav? Huh. I said, yeah, good question. Well, I said, well, from here we understand that because Esav, he did not follow the step of its Hakavino, so it's Hakid, Esav, it don't exist. A man who asks a lot of questions, it don't exist. Yaakov Ishtam Yishev Yaakov was a tzaddik. He did never ask questions. He had a big emuna. Tam. But Esav always questions, questions, questions. Why, why, why? What happened in the end? He become, he become the kofir. He become, uh, he become anti Hashem. To have emuna, it's when you don't ask questions. But there is questions. So, but there is, there is good answers as well. Hashem gives you chokhmah to give to yourself good answers. But you are lazy. You, you don't want to give to yourself good answers. Because you don't know. So, it's a problem. I would like to ask Hashem to give you all what you need. Bracha v'etzlacha. Children, tzaddikim, isharim, hasidim. Amen. That it's his Hilula, Hashem protect you. Amen. Amen. Amen.